Hi, my name is Judgment. I'm part of the Zeldix community, and I'm going to teach you how to patch MUC1 games. They're a little trickier than normal round patches, so this tutorial might help. After watching, if you still have questions, visit me at zeldix.net, find me in the right here in the moderator, or just someone that frequently logs in, and send me a message as so. It's easier to communicate through Zeldix because sometimes YouTube will hide your comments so that I can't see it, or they won't let me post comments that have links, so it's easier to communicate here. Now, let's get started in the description. Uh, go to the description right here of the YouTube video you're watching, download the MUC1 starter kit. This will work for Windows 10, and right here, the SNES 9X version 1.60. Use this emulator first, because some emulators require a few extra steps to set up, such as RetroPry or the SD to SNES. So it's easier to see if you patched it correctly with this emulator, then test it on your emulator that you desire to play the game on. Um, if you can't unzip files, get 7-Zip. It's a free software to unzip files. And then, right here, find patches and PCM albums here at Zeldix. Go to Zeldix, come down here to where it says MUC1 Hacking, and you want to look at the MUC1 Hack database. Let's find Super Metroid, which is a jump and gun game, right down here. And then, once you find Super Metroid, go ahead and click on it. We're using that as an example at first. Now, there's two files you're looking for. You first want to get the patched uh, file download right here. This will get the ROM patch. And then you want to get a music album. So you can find mine just right here. And so you want to download both of them. Now, once you have both of them downloaded, make a new folder like this. I just named it Super Metroid MC1. Now open your new folder, and there's three things you're going to be wanting to put in this folder. The first one is the, the patch download. It'll have either an IPS patch or a BPS patch, and it'll also have the .msu1 file, like this right here, these two. Now the second one is you want to put all your music albums into the same folder. Do not rename these things. If you rename them, it is not going to work. And lastly, you want to put in your ROM. Now let's start patching. Go ahead and open the MUC1 starter kit. It'll work for Windows 10. And if you don't have Windows 10 or you're using a Mac, you're going to have to just search for Flips as well as SNES ROM multi tool. A simple Google search will help you find where to download these. Click on SNES ROM multi tool, then do File, Open. We are looking to remove the header. So go ahead and find your, uh, go ahead and find your your folder with your ROM in it. We are doing Super Metroid MSC1 right here and click open. Now if it did have a header it would be shown right here and you would click it and then you would click OK to remove header. My ROM does not have a header. Most ROMs do not have a header but you want to make sure the header is removed or the game will not play. So that's step number one. Remove the header and that is done. Next you will want to click on flips to patch your ROM. Click Apply Patch, and you will search for your patch first. As you can tell, right here is my folder, and it will show the patch right there. I click Open on my patch. Then I will find in the same folder right here the ROM. You click Open. Now it's going to ask you to rename it. It'll most, it will rename it to whatever the patch name is. Click Save. But this is the most important step. Next, make sure your name is the same as the .msc1 uh, file. So right here you have to have the exact same name as this right here as your patched ROM. Most of the time we have our patches be the same name so when you make a new patched file it'll automatically make a new game that is the correct name. But if it's not you need to copy and paste the name so that it'll be the exact same. They need to match. They will not play if they do not match. Now you are ready to play. Go ahead and give it a try. You just need to open up your emulator Click on your emulator. Let's get our game opened up and drag it right over here and we'll play our game. Looks like it's playing. And there you go, you have finished patching your game. Now you might want to listen to some of these music files as there's multiple albums, but if you click on um, click on it you'll notice that there really isn't a music player that will play it so first of all to get a music player that that works install full bar right here 
after you install it, you need to install this little plugin right there, the foo-input-msu. Foo Let me show you how. Click on library, click on configure, click on components. You're going to drag and drop from the MSU one starter kit uh, right here. The foo-input.msu. You'll find it right here in unknown and click apply. Click OK. It'll restart it. And now it should play your music file. There you go. All right. If you have any questions, just visit me on zelix.net and ask away. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have success patching and hope you have a lot of fun.